Tension continues to prevail in Bangladesh even as Sheikh Hasina has fled the country. She has spent one night here in India after escaping from violence marred Bangladesh. However, as per sources, she may spend another night in Delhi and may even look to stay longer. Now, according to sources, Belgium and Finland are her other options apart from seeking asylum in the UK. Meanwhile, protesters celebrated on the streets of Bangladesh as Hasina vacated the position. However, many of them were even seen ransacking the Prime Minister's residence and indulging in violent activities. The army has called protesters to refrain from violence and return to their homes as they assure the formation of an interim government likely by today. The Bangladesh opposition leader Khaled Azia has been released from jail following arch rival Hasina's resignation. Meanwhile, India is keeping a close eye on the developments in Bangladesh. The border security force is also on high alert. Security has been hiked along the India Bangladesh border in light of the recent developments. And the BSF chief also visited the Petropol border area today to assess the situation. Now, according to sources, nearly 13,000 Indian students are stranded in Bangladesh, while 8,000 students have so far returned. Well, first of all, things are not very good in many ways. Uh, yesterday, we've heard that there have been attacks on minorities, and one Hindu MLA has been killed. That is the report we are getting. That's, of course, the first thing. But beyond that, what the army wants, the army wants people to settle down, people to go home. And then there can be talks with the students, there can be other talks with other people, and things could come uh, to a settled situation. But that hasn't happened so far. There is still a lot of uh, fighting in the streets, a lot of trouble uh, still happening. That's the first thing. Of course, the students have said that uh, Mr. Yunus of Grameen Bank should be the president. Now, he was someone who, ha uh, who Sheikh Hasina absolutely despised. And, of course, he has a Nobel Prize in peace. He is very close to uh, parts of the establishment in the United States, Hillary Clinton and other people. So, it is, uh, he is a candidate, at least according to the students. As far as India is concerned, Sheikh Hasina has been very helpful. Over these years, one of the first things she did was to ensure that all these terrorist camps, all these insurgent camps of Alpha and the other groups were uprooted and were removed from Bangladesh. That improved the uh, law and order situation in the Northeast states enormously. And for that alone, India has to be very grateful. And student protesters have backed the Nobel laureate, Mohammed Yunus, to be the chief advisor of the interim government, and he has agreed to take on the position. Listening to this exclusive conversation with the laureate, Mohammed Yunus, as unrest in Bangladesh rages on. Uh, Mr. Yunus, thank you very much for taking the time out and joining us here on Mirror Now in this exclusive. Let me begin by first asking you this. Uh, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina did leave the country. Are you concerned with the uncertainty at the moment? No, we are celebrating that uh, finally we came to the point to uh, the jubilant crowd on the streets enjoying the freedom they finally earned after many deaths of the young people, young kids, older people, lots of people every day, every hour. Uh, so that's a celebration. There, it's a, like a jubilation that we had uh, during the um, uh, liberation war. There's a liber uh, liberation day today, second liberation day. So that's the kind of uh, festivity that's going on right now. And as you point that out, but, you know, in fact, all of this has happened after weeks of protests, over 100 lives being lost. We looked at how the intensity of the situation there, there are police stations which were burned, minorities whose homes are being targeted. Surely the situation from the law and order perspective is far from desirable. Uh, you are looking at something uh, from one side. You're not looking at all the young people demonstrating they're getting killed every day. It's the government bullet hitting them. They brought the police, they brought the paramilitary, they brought the military, they got curfew, they have everything. And then in that, they're saying, you're saying that they are doing everything else. Just to, they're saving their life was the most important thing for them. 
while the government is hitting, shooting at innocent people. They have curfew days after day. They had the shoot to kill uh, to order for everybody, for police, paramedical, para, para army, and also the army itself. So that's the situation they have emerged from. They continued their uh, uh, march on the street. They continued their uh, struggle to make sure they are successful. Finally, they changed their, uh, in a desperate way, they said, only way we can succeed, Hasina must go. So they became one, one point demand. And then mm -hmm. finally, Hasina has to go. In fact, as you pointed out, one of the images of a Sheikh Mujib statue being vandalized is on the screen. How do you think things have come to such a pass? Yes, that's what mm -hmm. I've been telling. I said, Hasina has made people's minds so uh, bitter. They now even attack her father. So it's, it's, it's the bitterness what she accumulated among the people now expressing them because finally she left. So she, they have to express that. So it is, it is the fault of the person who created this environment for in fact, as you point that out, India's perspective of Sheikh Hasina, of course, she's physically present here in India. You have been critical of India in the past. But uh, what are your expectations from India at the moment? I keep saying that India is our best friend, uh, have the possibility of becoming a best friend. But instead, they focused on not on Bangladesh, they focused on one person. So their relationship became one person relationship. This is a wrong relationship. They, now that Hasina has failed in doing things for the people, so the people are angry at the, India because you are supporting the person who destroyed our life. So we have to go back, and I request, I urge Indian policymakers to redesign your policy, whether you want to again find the person to support or a country to support, people of the country to support. This is very important thing because we, we item after item we saw India is focusing on the person.